Portugal. Beautiful, historic, welcoming. Unique coastlines and beaches. Rolling hills and mountains. Decorated with great vines, castles and palaces. A place where many adventures, discoveries and voyages departed. Architecture from different times and cultures. In our previous episode, we show you around the Algarve region in the South Lisbon in Sintra. We then explore Nazaré, Obidush and Coimbra and Davero. My name is Summer Dragon Girl and next to me is my sister, Sienna Supergirl. Welcome to Portugal Part 3, The North. We will show you around the beautiful Braga region, wander through the old capital Guimarães, have an incredible time in the coastal city of Porto and finish our Portugal series with the cruise of the Duro River. Let's get our journey north started. One place that really deserves to be visited by tourists is the Braga region. We started our day at the magical sanctuary of Bom Jesus de Monte. This whole area feels mystical and spiritual. The ground will wonderful grottos, lakes and incredible basilica. We will walk around and just soaking in the positive energy. You can hire a small boat or picnic by the lake. This makes for a great family day out. The iconic stairway, the Catholic pilgrims climb are stunning and breathtaking. The stairs are very long and lead up to the basilica. Once you reach the top, you are greeted by incredible views. We recommend going into the basilica and sitting down for a good rest. There is an unbelievable amount of detail all over the church. Artists have really left their mark in this beautiful place. We also recommend having lunch on the observation deck and soaking it all in. I'm glad we drove up the mountain because there was way too many steps. Remember to stop at the bottom of the steps for the Instagram snap. The views up the stairs are just as good as those from the top. Our next stop was another religious marvel, the century of Our Lady of Samara. We were very much surprised once we got there. Construction was begun on 14th July 1863 on the domed church. It doesn't seem real and the camera doesn't do the views justice. It really feels like the church statues and columns guard and protect the city below. Definitely take a good quality camera for your time here. The height and the scale of the area is so grand that normal cameras struggle to capture the scenes in front of you. We felt like our batteries were being recharged and our souls sung with happiness. To end this epic day, we ventured down to the over 2,000 year old ancient city of Braga. Wow, that's old! Yep. We strolled around the main square and looked for local treats. Just take a look at the amazing flowers that are planted around the city. The smell was incredible and really added to the charm. We passed the lovely fountain and found ourselves a place to rest and recover. The adults laughed and chatted away as the afternoon light painted a different picture of the town. Sienna and I spent our afternoon chasing bubbles from a kind stranger and made friends with some local kids. It didn't matter that they didn't speak English because we all knew how to laugh together. It was a magical afternoon. The next day we travelled to the cradle of the nation the first capital in my range. When you get here, and you should definitely get here, 
just walk around. The city is heritage listed for a reason. It really feels like time stood still and you are walking through history. Our cameras again got a good workout. Now, if you like being wowed by history, then this is the place for you. We explore the medieval castle of Gimorange and read all about the different cultures that called the area home over the years and added to its stories and architecture. When you imagine a castle in your mind, chances are this is what you are seeing. We also were impressed by the palace and castle walls that stand proud. When I grow up, I'm gonna be a queen and this is my castle. After taking loads and loads of photos, the day was coming to an end and we felt very satisfied by our day's adventure. Such a lovely city. Here are some of our happy snaps. Our next destination is a must and on many people's bucket list. Porto, famous for its bridges, heritage, listed cities, views and port wine. This city rivals Paris for European charm and wow factor. We spent a few days here and only scratched the surface. Walk along the shoreline and take it all in. Cafes, shops, restaurants and port wineries stretched along the water's edge. Music fills the air and the scents of Portuguese food makes your mouth water. We were lucky enough to be entertained by two university choirs. Take a listen to these amazing groups as they perform with the backdrop of the iconic bridge. Porto is again one of those cities to slowly explore. Have lunch or take a siesta in one of the many parks and community squares. While here, we recommend visiting the library that inspired J.K. Rowling to write Harry Potter. I think it is easy to see why this library has such an effect. We spent the rest of our day enjoying our family's company and eating delicious food at one of the charming restaurants. The city is stunning. You can see why the rest of the world is waking up and taking notice of the hidden gem. Now, if there is one thing you must save up for and do while you are here is cruise the Duo River. We got up really early and got dropped off at the train station. Just look at this incredible train station. It is more like an art gallery or museum. We boarded a train and headed up river. Now this train ride was insanely amazing. The driving roads close to the tracks are known as some of the most scenic in the world. It felt like it was on the Hogwarts Express with stunning, stunning, stunning views. It is a shame we couldn't fly a drone and show you what we could see. I guess you will have to see it for yourself. We then boarded a river boat for the most scenic day of our trip. The Jura River is non-stop wineries, field of grapes, vines, grand manors, holiday apartments, and history. We had such a great time laughing with our family and eating delicious food. The adults sampled different port wines and enjoyed quality time together. I like going through the lock, but 
It was a bit scary, but super fun. The locks were very fun, and it was so cool to see how the water level would be controlled so we could navigate the river. This cruise is a must-do. You slowly make your way towards Porto and the views. Don't get old or boring. We felt so lucky to be there and honoured to have this life experience. The end of the special day was made magical by being welcomed into Porto. The cameras were going crazy as people couldn't take enough pictures at the city. It really is seen best from the river. You also get to see the well-designed bridges that connect both sides of the river. We again stepped off the boat and slowly wandered. We danced, sang and shouted endlessly about our fantastic day. Porto is the crown jewel of the north. Put it on your list right now. We hope you have really enjoyed our final episode in our Portugal series. This country is truly special and simply has it all. The biggest thing we learned was that you need to have a connection with a place to get the most out of it. Talk to locals and ask them for advice. Ask them what you shouldn't miss and where you need to be at different times. Learn the history of places and visit and eat, eat, eat. I like that advice. Eat, eat. I knew you would like that. Join us next Sunday as we take you through one of our most favorite places on the planet. Just watch for a minute and hit the like button once you work out the city we are going to next. If you definitely know the answer, hit the subscribe button. We appreciate all the support we have received and it has been amazing to watch our channel grow. I think it's pretty obvious where we are off to next. Yep, you were right, Venice, Italy. We will also head over to the island of Burano and explore all the area has to offer. This episode is definitely a must watch. Muito obrigada. Adios. See you next Sunday. See you, mate.